The nation's leaders have thanked Australians for sticking together through a second COVID-affected holiday season. In their annual Christmas messages, Scott Morrison and Anthony Albanese reflect on a year of lockdowns and restrictions, looking ahead to brighter times in 2022. A Christmas two years in the making. Many Australians will be gathering together for the first time this Christmas in a long time. After such a tough couple of years, we all deserve a happy Christmas. Political weaponry shelved for now, Australia's leaders found a rare unity ticket, praising the nation's resolve. Thanks to everyone for taking care of each other. I'm so grateful for Australia, to be an Australian, and for my fellow Australians. It's not quite as normal. The Omicron variant has thrown a Christmas curveball, rising cases bringing with them new restrictions. But Scott Morrison is spurring the nation to stay the course. At the end of this year, of course we can think of the many difficult times we've had and the losses that people have incurred. But Christmas, you know, is a time of hope. And we are an optimistic people. Looking to remind the country not of what's been lost in the pandemic, but what's been preserved. And whatever comes our way, we back ourselves to overcome and to push through as we have during the course of this pandemic, saving lives and livelihoods like few other countries in the world. Anthony Albanese, flanked by his companion Toto, glad to be... Off the Zoom and actually back in the room with family, friends and loved ones. But for the community of Devonport in Tasmania, this Christmas is tinged with heartache following the deaths of six children in a jumping castle tragedy at Hillcrest Primary School. The Prime Minister sending a nation's love to their families. And this Christmas will shed a tear and raise up prayers for them, I believe, right across the country for them, that they might find some measure of comfort in this hour of their terrible grief. So too for those spending Christmas in service. They're driving trucks, delivering critical supplies. They're giving us our booster shots and doing our COVID tests. I could want for no greater gift than the spirit of the Australian people that's been on display, that have inspired and endured and cared and shown great courage. The two leaders united in their message, at least until the election campaign. May the festive season bring you joy and may it be a sign of better times to come. Merry Christmas, Australia, and God bless. Cameron Redden, Sky News, Canberra.